Hi there and welcome to another video. It's Mr. Hegarty here and this is our ninth revision video for the higher paper and we're talking about the air of a triangle using half AB sine C. Just to remind you of the format of these videos, so pause this and read if you want to. This is quick revision, very focused revision so you can pick up some of the easy grade B and C marks uh, quickly and practice questions. So what I'm going to do is you take a revision card down based on my examples and then you're going to try an exam question. Okay. For more in detailed uh, explanations, look at the website. This is just purely for revision. So we're talking about the area of a triangle using a half AB sine C. Firstly, when do you use this? Okay. And uh, what is it? Well, this is on the front of your formula booklet. It tells you for any triangle ABC, so with corners A, B and C, and side lengths little a, little b and little c, if you want to work out the area of that triangle, so you can what you can do, and you know the angle at C, you say you know that angle there, then you can do a half multiplied by this length, multiplied by this length, multiplied by sine of the angle. So this is given in your formula booklet. You don't have to um, remember this, but what you do have to do is remember when to use it. And these are when you use it. You use it when you're dealing with a triangle. And you are asked for the area of the triangle, but you don't know the perpendicular height, the perpendicular height. And more clearly, it's obvious you use this rule when you're given the following. You're given two sides plus the angle in between those sides. So it's really important. That is the key one. If you ever see two sides given and the angle between, and you're working out the area of a triangle, turn to the front of your formula booklet and use this. And this is how you do it. Uh, you, here are the two sides you know. You know 6 centimetres and 11 centimetres and you know the angle 67. So to work out the area you just use a half times the two lengths times sine of the angle. So simply in this case the area is going to be a half multiplied by 6 multiplied by 11 multiplied by sine of the angle 67. Calculator out. You just type in fraction 1 half come out of that, multiplied by 6, multiplied by 11, multiplied by sine 67. Close the brackets there and you get the following. Now I've actually made a, a mistake here. The calculator must be in degrees mode. That currently says R. Oh, it's a good mistake to make to show you. Put your calculator by changing the mode to degrees. It must say D, otherwise it's going to make a mistake, or DEG. If I press equal again, the angle is 30. 0.37. So the area here to 1 dp is 30, well 30.37 to 1 dp the area would be 30.4 the unit centimeters squared. Okay what about this one here? Well uh, we've got two sides and the angle between so let's highlight those we've got these two sides and we've got the angle between. Now the third side is given just to confuse us don't worry about that you might as well forget about it. The area here is just going to be a half multiplied by 17, multiplied by 8, multiplied by sine of 83. Calculator out a half multiplied by 17, multiplied by 8, multiplied by sine 53. Close that bracket. Calculate has to be in degrees mode. Press equal 54.3. So A equals 54.3. The unit, its area is going to be meters squared here. Okay, the last one, well, I, I just did this as a trick. You have two sides for sure, but you don't have the angle between those two sides, this angle. But in this question, you can easily work it out because you have the other two angles, 30 at 80, that adds to 110. So because angles in a triangle must add to 180, that must be 70 degrees. So you could have worked it out very easily. So here, what would the area be? The area will be a half multiplied by 11, multiplied by 5, multiplied by sine of 70. Calculator out. 
one half, come out of that, multiply by 11, multiply by 5, multiply by sine 70, close bracket equals 25.8, area equals 20, sorry, 25.8 and the unit millimetres squared because it's area. And we're done for this video. Okay, so here's an exam question for you. Pause the video, have a go. I'll go through in 10 seconds. Okay, we're asked to work out the area of this triangle. Okay, to three significant figures. We're given two sides and we're given the angle between. We straight away turn to the front of our formula booklet and we realize that we've got this formula here that could help us work that out. So what we do is to work out the area, this triggers us to remember it's the area would be a half multiplied by one side, multiplied by six, multiplied by the other side, so multiplied by seven, multiplied by sine of the angle, so sine of 60. And what we do is we get the calculator and we type that in. So we do one half multiplied by six, multiplied by seven, multiplied by sine 60, close brackets, Calculators in degrees, so we're fine. Press SD, 18.1865. So write that all down first, 18.1865, before you round, okay? And to 3SF, there's the first, there's the second, there's the third. So the line would go here. That 8 makes that a 2. So the area would be 18.2. The unit, because we're dealing in centimetres, it will be centimetres squared. So 18.2. And we're done for this video.